scapegoats back in my garage. Oh, there's been an update. I don't know if I have the update, if you have to start a new game to do it, but apparently the map's much bigger now, which is insane. Uh, and that's awesome. I'm getting rid of some of this junk here so I don't have frame rate problems. Um, yeah, like apparently he expanded the map. It's like 30 times bigger. Now, someone was saying I still need parts for this, but I'm not sure what parts they're talking about, unless there's a back panel here or something. Let's let's go take a look. I've only got a thousand bucks, so we need to make some cash. Uh, let's see. Cars, the Neve. All right, let's see here. That's, that's the door panel I own, right? Accessories. I have all these things. I got the sun visors in. I got the tail lights in i got the headlights in i i don't think i'm missing any parts i really don't i think i have all the parts on here i i don't see any other parts you would need it's got it's got everything did did i miss something i i don't think i did i think it has all the parts so this is now our official go pick stuff up vehicle for now until we get another vehicle to do something with but right now I think the best bet we can do is is do some work and make some money so we can afford a BART, because I want to do that next. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, check the brake pads. I don't like that job. Change the spark plugs. We can do this out in the parking lot, but I, I think I have the sign inside. Yeah, the sign's inside here. Oh, okay, excellent. There we go. Uh, change the spark plugs, right? That's what he said? All right, cool. All right. Um, F to switch between tightening and loosening modes. Oh, nice. Oopsie. How do I? Okay, this is tightening. This is loosening. Oh, there we go. Just had to get a bit closer. Excellent. Oh, that's, see, I like that. That's a good thing, because that way you don't accidentally... Well, you can still accidentally screw it up, I guess, but at least it's a bit easier not to screw up. This was a spark plug job, right? This is what I'm doing? Yeah, well, we'll take these spark plugs out and get rid of them. And then we will, uh... There we go. And also, now we... I think I'm going to buy a trailer. And uh, a winch at some point And attach to the trailer so we can drag our own cars back with the Lotta. I think that would be a great way to go. Uh, we're doing spark plugs, right? I just want to double check this. Let me see. Spark plugs. All right, nice. All right, so we're going to get spark plugs. So engine... Neve engine, we need... Where are they? They're here somewhere. Okay, they're always... They always miss these ones because they're so big. There we go. Well, I guess I can bring these over one at a time. The smart way would be to put them in a box or something, but you know how it is. Okay, I feel like you can't get in as close as you used to. Okay, here we go. Yoink. All right. I like this new tightening mode. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to because I'm so used to doing it the other way. Uh, Viking, you are a dedicated developer, brother. If you ever need any, uh, or want any sort of, like, not, I'm not going to say help because I'm, like, I am a programmer, I guess, but I used to be, <laughs> but, uh, I'm saying, like, for car stuff, as a guy who's, like, a 100% a car guy, I am more than happy to shout out what I would think would be great. Like, it'd be nice if you could, uh, get a, uh, an old, a pit. Like, and I know they're kind of illegal nowadays. But a pit would be great. So you can get under the car to do oil changes and stuff very easily. And a second bay to the garage to do it. Because. Oh, no. Here we go. Okay, this is not letting me tighten. Am I not? Oh, yeah, I just wasn't close enough. There we go. I feel like you got to get a little bit closer now, which is fine. All right. Here's the go. Here's the go, bud. Ugh. Good on you. We got this. Let's uh, finish this up. Now, people keep telling me, you can just complete it at the car. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But I got to come over here to get a new job anyway. Something's wrong with the charging. I think my alternator's dead. Do you want to take an alternator job? Sure. Let's take this. Close this. Oh, it's it's a... Uh, ooh. It's a BART. Jeez, I wish I would tell you how much it was worth. 5.6 liter V8. Okay, no problem. Be, oh, this will be an easy job. Let's take this belt off first. And where is my wrench? 
Ah, here we go. Also, being able to upgrade tools in the garage would be cool. Like getting a, uh, oops, here we go. Loosening. There we go. Is there another? Oh, yeah, the wire. There we go. Being able to, uh, like, say, maybe get an air compressor or uh, an extra bay for the garage or, or um, something like that would be great. Or better storage kind of stuff. It's the engine for the, the BART. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Buy an alternator. There we go. Why does this one look so drastically different? What the? Did I just spend money on this and I don't... What the heck? Oh, that's the four-banger one. I need the V8 one. Damn it. Oh, well, we'll save it for, uh, for a day. Okay, yeah, I just I had it on BART, but not the V8 engine. Crap. Oh, well. We can use it. It won't be a problem. We're not going to make a lot of money off this job, but that's fine. There we go. I didn't realize that. I forgot you could set the... Uh, put a four-banger in the BART. That's my dream, a four-cylinder a four BART. Everybody wants to put... Uh, Big stuff in cars. Nah, let's make it smaller and less powerful. Start a new trend. Okay, let's grab this. Put that on. And there we go. This should be good to rock and roll. 410. Yeah, we didn't make a lot of money, but if we find another alternator job, we may be able to... Uh, like this, something's wrong with the charging. Let's check it out. Maybe we got a bad alternator. Look at that. <laughs> we got a bad alternator. Look, and I just happened to have one in stock. Good for you. All right, let's see here now. Let's undo this wire. Oh, no, this is untighten, right? Yeah, unloosen that. Unloosen. Wouldn't that be tightened then? Okay, bad English. Where's the other... Okay, I think we're going to have to get down a little here. Let me see. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Got it. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I always forget this. You can't. There we go. Sometimes you can't get the belt off once you have it on the ground, but this one came off. All right, here we go. There we go. Where's my wrench? There it is. I knew it was here the whole time. Okay, tighten. Yeah, this is going to take me a little bit to get used to, but not hor horrifically. And on. All right. Now we should probably put the belt back on because nothing will work without it. All right, there we go. On it goes. And we will complete this. What? Something's wrong with the charging. What? Oh, the wires are shot too. I didn't even notice. Okay, well, we'll uh, we'll we'll fix that up as well. Okay, no problem. We got we can get we can get the mains wiring all fixed up. Okay, let's loosen this up here. Let's zoom in a little so we can see. Okay, we're just we're really not. Okay, we're stuck. Okay, here we go. We're loosening this. We're loosening that. We're gonna loosen these two battery terminals. And isn't there a spot? Here it is. Is this is this it? I thought there was a spot. Yeah, there it is. What else did I miss? So battery popped out, no problem. <laughs> okay, is there a... Oh, here it is. Right here at the ground for the block. All right, there we go. Take this wiring out. All right, let's go get some new wiring. For a four-cylinder, uh, a lot of coupe, just in case there's some weirdness with the wiring. There's the wiring. I always called this a body harness, but, you know, because usually there's a whole bunch of it. It goes all the way back down the body. Okay, let me see here, though. Oh, yeah, Titan. Yeah, see, I'm going to be confused by this for just a little while. Oh, here's one. I get this one. Put the battery back in. 
And you and you. Now, let's see if this is completable. Let's see, you can do it like that, but I don't know. It doesn't seem really necessary to do it like that. Okay, we've already made $300, which isn't a lot. So let's garbage these parts out. Bad parts might as well be garbaged because you're not going to get enough for them at the pawn shop. Yeah. All right, this can go in the trash. Do we even get money for these? Like a what, like a buck or something? Nope, nothing. That's fine. Be cool to have a classified newspaper thing where you could like put the parts up and then haggle with people over your parts that you have. I think that is, I still got the blue seat for the back of the, the Lada. So that's, we have 1400 bucks though. That's not bad. We're still not enough though to get, um, Ooh, I didn't like that. That was a long one. Something's wrong with the charging spark plugs. Ugh. Body panel. Can we match it? Probably, but we're not gonna. Oh, let's just do an air filter job. Why not? Easy. What kind of car is it? It's a BART. Okay, let's see. V8. Wait a minute. Is it a six pack car? Or is it a. Nope, just your straight up round one. Okay, let's see. Engine parts. Where's the. Here it is. Oh, it's a, you want to put a performance or a standard one in it? Now, that's a really good question. Because the air filter is 20 bucks, so I'm just going to go with standard and assume he doesn't have a performance version of it. And we're going to remove that. Okay. Oh, no. Well, it's all black, so we can't really tell what it is. Out you come, on you go. You didn't specify you wanted a performance version, so there you go. That's what you get. You go back on and you tighten down. Excellent. Okay. Junk. Okay, we got to complete the mission. Okay, there we go. Complete. $39 change there. Yeah, I would have made seven bucks if I, only, if I got the better one, but this way I made 20. Okay. There we go. This is going well. Look at this. We are entrepreneurial spirit. You wash this car. It is raining. That's eighty bucks. I'm taking it, man. I'm, 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 I'm. St oh yeah. Oh yeah. So can I bring the hose in here? That'd be greater. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah. Here we go. I like this very flesh-toned Caucasian-y color here. I don't know what's like peach. What is this? Ugh. It's like the color of my toe. What? What is this? What color do you call this? Okay, here we go. Wash that off. Wash this off. I like how far this hose stretches. This is nice. There we go. I like these $80 jobs to just wash the car. <laughs> They're simplistic. I don't have to think about them. They just work. You can The hose generally almost reaches to the other side of the car, even from the rooftop and stuff, so you can really get it clean on one side and just have to do little touch-ups on the other. I don't know what you're doing, bud. They got your car so dirty, bud. There we go, and I think we're just about good here. Just the windows, I think. Here we go. Oh, the rear window. Oh, it auto saves now. Whoa. <laughs> okay, whatever, bud. Whatever you say. All righty. I wonder what that was happening there. Okay, let's try that. Bam. Complete that. 80 bucks. In the bag. In the bag. Fuel line looks worn. Let's take it. I like how the reward's not specified until you, uh, oh, a lot of coupe. Or a lot of four-door. What is that? Sedan. So, a lot of coupe. Just regular lot of. And we need a fuel line. So that'd be under engine. Where are you? 
I've already gone by you. I know I have. Okay, here we go. Fuel line, fuel line, fuel line. First thing on the list, and I missed it. All right, here we go. Bring this over here. All right. And we'll open this up, and then we'll take a look. Fuel line should be right off the fuel pump. There it is. Off you come. Out you go. In the yard. Perfect. And we're done. <laughs> All right, let's go kill that job. Excellent, and we'll find another one. Radiator looks bad. Let's take that job. See, this way we know how much they're worth when we start doing them, because it doesn't tell you what the price is until you've done one, I think. All right, now, I hate doing radiators in these cars because of the, the flip, like, the way the hood flips up like this. <sighs> I hate these reverse flipping hoods. They're very popular on European cars of a certain vintage. Oh. Jeez, that just popped right off, didn't it? Well, we're going to put the new hoses on it. Okay, here we go. This can go up. This is a radiator. Whoa, good work sign. All right, here we go. Radiator for a four-banger. Jeez, I keep not switching that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to end up causing me problems at some point. We'll put this in here. Bam. Wham. Oh, bam. Bam. Okay, there we go. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And we're going to put you in. Are you the other side one? I can never remember which side's which. There's one thing. There we go. And then we'll grab this other one from down here. Stand up. And in you go. And I'm assuming you're going to need coolant. I, I would assume... Yeah, so we're going to need coolant for that. Do we have any coolant here, or do we use it all already? Yeah, I think we used it up. So I'll go grab some coolant from across the street here. No cars. There's no traffic today. Oh, there's some. Okay, never mind. I see it over there. All right, coolant. It's eight bucks. And we'll put coolant in the new radiator. Okay, whoa, whoa don't, don't come near me. Just stay over there. That way you don't get all balled up around here and act like weirdos. <laughs> All right, let's take the cap off. Yoink, and then put this in here. Yeah. Oh, it's filling. It's filling. It says it's filling. We're good. There we go. Just don't touch the mouse. Excellent. There we go. I got a very sensitive mouse setting. When I play first-person shooters, I play at like 400 DPI, maybe 800. Uh, this game, I play at 16. So it changes depending on my game. But you get kind of used to it after a while. This is going, we're actually making, we've made, what, 500 bucks. It's not a lot of money, but it's nice to know what the jobs are worth. So we know what's going, this is taking forever to fill this up. Could we just, could we be done with this now, please? Okay, it said it was filling it. Did it not fill it? All right, cap on. Bam. And we'll go complete the job. Complete. Nice. What else we got? Car can't start. We'll take that job. Ooh, $641 reward. Oh, jeez. <laughs> My sign's a little off kilter. Whoops. Okay, we'll sell this radiator, too, because it's broken. All right, what do we got? Car won't start. So, battery looks good. Coil looks good. Okay, okay. That's good there. Let's see here. What do we got? Fuel pump, maybe? Starter looks all right. Oh. The fuel pump looks okay. Spark plugs, maybe? It'd be weird if all the spark plugs were shot so the car wouldn't start at all. Does that fuel pump look okay to you guys? That fuel pump looks okay to me. It's hard to tell from here. Let me see if I can get a look. Yeah, let's just... 
The yeah, oil's good. Jeez, this one's a pickle. Yeah, that, that fuel pump looks all right. That fuel line looks all right. Starter looks fine. Huh. Fuel tank? No, fuel tank looks good too. Is the battery? No, the battery's fine. <sighs> Coil's good. Distributor looks all right. I just pulled the oil filter off for no good reason. Okay. Wait a minute. Now, does it crank? That's a good question. Let's try to crank it over and see if anything's not happening here. Because if we got nothing, it could just be the switch and the dashboard, right? And we'll sit for a second, and we're going to try to crank this over. All right, so it cranks, so it means the battery's good, the starter's good. So the only thing I can think of left is these wires look good. Could the spark plugs all be bad? Like, that would be really weird if all the spark plugs had gone bad. I don't even know how to tell if you got a bad spark plug in this. Now, spark plugs are fairly cheap, so it's not a big deal. Is the electrode shot... Those electrodes look good. Well, let's get a new spark plug and, and, oopsie, and compare it. Just out of curiosity. I know it's it's kind of a waste of money, but. Because this looks like exactly the same as this one, right? Where'd he go? There they are. Yeah, they look, they look fine. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. I see it. Carburetor. Okay. I keep forgetting these are carbureted cars. <laughs> so the carburetor's just shot. No problem. We got this. All right. Let's see here. Let's, let's undo that. Okay. Take this off. Air filter pops out on its own. We'll take that off and that off. All right, let's see here. Okay, this carburetor shot. I just, you, I've, you don't see very many bad carburetors in this game. Mm. All right, we'll get a four barrel carb for this. Let's see what we got. I'll put this down here so I don't forget to do something with it. All right. Whoop, whoop, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. 200 bucks. We're going to make a solid four grand off of this. Oh, four, four grand. Four, $400. What is this? This isn't Hydroneer, where I can make a $10,000 day in an instant. The, oh, here we go. Tighten this on. Here, here we go. Tighten, tighten. Tighten. Titans of Industry. Uh, Attack of the Titans. Okay. This? No, I never watched Attack of the Titans. Uh, well, I did a little bit. See if it was any good. It was not. I did not enjoy it. I found it very strange. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I like strange, so that says something, you know. All right. Let's, um, I'm just curious, actually. Let's try this. We're going to complete this job. Did we forget something? Is this a dig around inside the engine kind of job? Because... The carburetor's been replaced. So what 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 is this? What what are we happening here? What is happening? So this won't start at all. But it runs. It 
So... Um... Did I forget, a, like, a bolt on the carburetor or something? No, because then it would say... You got loose bolts. But this runs. And it starts. Didn't you see you wanted to start? <laughs> okay, I'm confused. I'm very confused here. Is anybody else super confused? They wanted it to run. It now runs. Huh. What else did I miss? Well, I've had a bad car, but, you know, I'm going to check all the spark plugs, I guess, because, like, I don't know. I, I just, I don't have any idea why this isn't running. Or they, they don't say it. They say it doesn't run. It seems to run fine. All right, let's just check all those. That one looks good. That one looks good. It's not even having trouble starting. That's the weird thing. Like, normally if you have some sort of starting trouble, that looks good. I guess the distributor might be shot, but that one looks good. But the distributor looks fine. Let's see here. That one, nope, that one looks all right. Could it be one bad spark plug? But I think it would notice it though. It's got air, it's got spark. It's got fuel. What's the problem? Could it be that the camshaft is kind of messed up and I can't see the cam, so maybe that's it? It's got to be something internal in the engine, right? Because, like, I can't see anything from this perspective that says there's a problem. Am I missing it? Sometimes, you know, you look at something and you don't see it right away. I thought I was going to get a way to make a ton of money on this. Now I'm just wasting a bunch of time figuring this problem out. All right, well, let's see. Starts fine. It's got fuel. It's got spark. It's got air. I guess we could, like, try to take a boo inside the engine without tearing it apart. Because sometimes you can look right through the engine. So let's try that. Well, I'm not going to be able to do that. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. I don't see anything in this engine that suggests there's a problem with this engine. The only thing I really can't see is the cam. So could it be a bad camshaft? Ugh. I don't want to tear the whole front of this engine apart, though. Well, I guess rent it in for a dollar and for a dime, right? So let's, uh, I feel like this is completed. Did we miss a bolt or no? Cause it would tell us straight up. You missed a bolt. This doesn't work. Let's remove this for a second. <sighs> The 
This looks fine. Ugh. Distributor looks good. Okay, we're tearing down the front of this engine so I can look at a camshaft that's probably just fine. Okay, let's pull this out. Let's see here. Oh my God, I don't want to do this. Because <laughs> it's just going to be something else and not this. And I'm going to feel... Re oh, saving. It's saving. Okay. It's going to be something else completely. And I'm going to feel real stupid when I get to it. Oh yeah, we got to take that off. I thought maybe the fuel pump or something. Okay, here we go. We're going to take this off, I guess. Okay, we're going to get rid of this out of the way. Oh, no. What? Oh, there we go. Cam looks good. Could it be the time? I don't know. You know what, guys? I'm going to abandon this job because I don't know. Abandon. <laughs> okay. Abandon the job. Yes, I'm abandoning your job. Did you take all your parts? Good. Because I have no idea what's wrong with that. And I thought I figured it out, and I just wasted $400 trying to figure that out. <sighs> okay, well, you know what? Just need a new job. I don't know what was the deal with that was. But window lifters, let's take the job. I'm mad at that one. Because normally, I'd figure something like that out, no problem. Like, in a few minutes, I'll get it figured out, and it's not an issue. But for some reason, is it both, or is it just one? Okay, these are these appear, like, really broken. There's that, and then, okay, excellent. I'm mad about that because, like, normally, I like I said, I can figure out, oh, well, you know what? You can't win them all, I guess. Accessories, is it under accessories? Window. I want a four-banger just to make sure. Front, left, front, right, front, left. Uh, what's this one? front left we need the front right one there we go what window lift front right. oh it's the coupe isn't it god damn it i keep making mistakes here oh my god i'm so mad now <laughs> just so angry now okay this is what i get coupe and then you are, okay, you can just go in the trash. This is just a waste of money. We'll put you in the spare parts section just in case this ever comes up. So we're just blowing through money. We're making, we're not making any money on these jobs now because I keep making mistakes. So, eh. Time to buckle down and redo everything so we know what we're doing. Okay, let me see here. This can be tightened. Tightened. Glass can go back in. Tighten, tighten. This can go back on. Tighten. Okay. And you can come off. I'm not going to make any money on this job again. Now. Okay, no, that's not what I asked at all. That's definitely 100% not what I... There we go. This can come out and this can come out. And I'm going to wait, and it's all going to flop out. Bam. Okay, nice. Now we're going to grab the new one. Put that in. Maybe make $10 on this. What do we have, $1,400 before we quit? The last job. So, now I'm fine with the idea that, uh, you know, some jobs you can't figure out, but that was a big one. That was an expensive job. And this can go on here. 
Perfect. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I can't sell that yet. And please don't tell me what I missed, because I, I want to figure it out next time. Well, great. We're back to exactly where we were. So I'm going to sell this off. And I'm going to sell this off. I don't care that they're new. Trash bin them. <laughs> don't even care. So we're about where we were two jobs ago, and this is upsetting. Now, let's see. Can you check the shock absorbers? You know what? I can do that, depending on the car. Let's make sure the sign's in a decent place. That'll work. Let's take this job. Bam. Okay, 275 bucks. That's not bad. Oh, here we go. Oh, and I like, I like the shock absorber job on this one. Because you can get to the top bolt without having to go inside the vehicle. Yeah. Eh, that'll probably lift. Let's get it up. Let's see what I... Oh, no, it's not going <laughs> to lift. Okay. Let's get this under here like this. And... Yeah, please don't tell me what that was because I want to figure it out some other time. I want to get back to it one day and figure it out. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin that one for me. That was a, that was a good mystery, and I like that. Oh wait a minute! I think we got to still do the shocks in the. I think the bolts in the front need to be undone from here, don't they? Ah, uh, maybe not. But we're gonna do it anyway. Where's the? There's this wrench. Okay, perfect. Where's my wrench? Everybody, find my wrench. I think that's the right thing to do. Wait a minute. Was it just that one shock? Oh, it looks like just the one shock on that side is bad. All right, let's get it up. <sighs> up we go. Now, can we remove the shock without removing the tire, please? That would be that would be a lovely thing. That shock looks good. Excellent. One front shock is shot. Oh, and both rear shocks are shot. Nice. Now, these, if I remember correctly, yeah, you can see them. There we go. And take this off and that off. And this should be falling out already. There we go. So we need three shocks, two rear and one front for a Neve. Let's make sure we get this right. So Neve I-4 suspension... Where's the shocks? Okay, one front shock. Two rear shocks. Let's get the front shock in. Oh, wrong side. There we go. Is it the side that was in? Where? Yeah, this this is the side that needs the shock. There it is. Okay, jeez, I was losing my mind there. Okay, the shock's going in. And the other one's up top. I wonder if I can just. Just, just please. Damn it. Okay, we're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. All right, no problem. I'm kind of curious if the used up shocks would be worth more at the. Um, the trader guy, the pawn shop. Because it might be worth collecting a bunch of garbage and then. Dropping it all off at once. Okay, this is good. This is good. And that and that. Drop this down. And we'll do the top of that one shock. And then we're done. So three of his four shocks were shot. Now, you should really not replace one shock. You should do them in pairs, at least pairs. Why do I keep going to the wrong side here? Excellent. Okay, let's do this. And complete that. All right, excellent. We're making some, some cash here. Not a lot, but we're making some. Now, we need to do a big job like, um, was that one part? The suspension feels funny or whatever, and you paid 1500 bucks. All I want to do in this episode is make enough money to get a bar, uh, to buy a Bart from the junkyard, and that's about $3,000. So we need we need a big money job. Well, this one's really broken. We need a we need a big money job to get us to that three thousand dollar mark. So let's see what we got going on here. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Okay, let's see. Uh, radiator looks bad. We've already done that. Can't start. No, <laughs> not right now. Shock absorbers doesn't pay enough. Change the color. Can you change my brake disc? They look worn. 
Window lifter, spark plugs, car is loud. Can't start. Brake discs, it's all the same crap over and over again. Can't start. Engine oil change. Rust and re fix rust and repaint. Seventeen hundred bucks. Oh, sugar nuts. Okay. Okay, well, here's a little grinder. I think we can probably grind off a lot of this rust. Oh, that one fixed. Nice. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of rust on this panel. I feel like just replacing the panel in this situation would be smarter, but this will cost me less. Okay, that panel's good. Holy crap. Oh, geez, that, that fixed well. Is this? Oh, it's up on the thing. I was like, is this a suspension shot on this? What's going on? That's a little better. You just hope you get it to the point where it fixes itself. Because once you get so much of it done, it just kind of fixes the whole panel. But the doors are always a pain because it can be under the... It can be under the, um, what do you call that? The door panels, the door cards, whatever you want to call them. And then it's a pain because you got to take the door cards off and then. Oh yeah, look at the rust on this panel, man. This would just be a smarter one to replace. I've gotten most of the rust off of this, but I don't think I got it all because the game hasn't triggered the, hey, we're done here thing. Like, see how it just all of it went away suddenly there? I may have to pull this front bumper and take, oh yeah, see above the... Let's, uh... How does that bumper stand? Okay, it's just a couple of things. Let's just pull that off. Just so I can get a look behind the bumper supports. Okay, that's actually not that bad behind the bumper supports. Let's see here. Now we got some on the cowl there. We got some more in the door here. Let's... Uh, get this rust out. Okay, that's good. Is any in here? Okay, we may have to... Yeah, look at this door. See what I mean? We're going to have to pull that whole thing off there just to take a look at it. Where to put my wrench? But this cowl is going to be a problem. I can feel it. So it might be worth our time to just... Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Where did that part go? There it is. Look at this. That was easy. Okay. Um, Leave that off because we're going to paint behind the door now too. Is that rust on there? I can't tell. Let me uh, shove this this way a little bit. Because it came in kind of cockeyed again. All right. I want to get a look at it from underneath uh, to see if I've missed anything before I start trying to spray this thing down. Uh, like I said, the front cowl seems to be causing me some heck i think there may be some rust behind the the uh headlight business so we'll go over there i wonder which you could just tell like if it was de-rusted that would be that'd be mint if you could tell if it was like oh like your car's got this much rust on it so you go looking for it or each panel like this panel's got zero rust and that panel's got 
10% rust and we got that. I wonder if I should just take this out. Let's sleep till morning and then we'll go from there. Ah, nice. Beautiful day. All right, let's take the hood off. I want to look at this cowl closely. Oh, there we go. Eh, perfect. Don't step on it. I feel like this should be okay now. Where's my screwdriver? There we go. I was, I was trying to tighten it while it was supposed to be loosening. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more rust here. Does anybody else see any more rust? Let's get her like so. Let's get her up on the hoist, and we'll see uh, from underneath to make sure we're not. Missing something. Oh, great. This is good. All right, here we go. I love it when this thing will move the whole car. Okay, that's a little better. Let's um, let's move it back slightly. And over this way a ton. God, stupid car. <laughs> there we go. Come on, car. Get over there, ways. And you're going to get under there. Do you get like a flat tire or something? Because you're just really aggressively not wanting to go up on my lift. Okay, just just go this way, please. Uh, there. Okay, is this is this all right? Can we just lift this, please? Okay. Let's take a look under this leading edge of this thing here. This looks good. No wheel well rust. Got a little there, though. See what I mean by getting underneath it and taking a look? Apparently, I can't. Why can't I get the bottom of this rocker? What? what why is this? <laughs> why is this doing this to me right now? Is it because... That's supposedly holding it in place. Oh my goodness. Is that what it is? Good Lord game. You're such a jerk all the time. It never stops. All right, let's just, you go way under there. This is where I want you. I want you way under there, out of the way. The car is going to be a little forward on the lift, but that's fine. I think it should lift up anyway. Don't fall out. You're just twisting. You're twisting and turning. All right, give me this. Can I Can I please? I don't want to have to remove the whole rocker panel. It just does not want that rocker to fix for some reason. Can I take it off maybe and try to do it that way? Where's my, where's my grinding discs? I need grinding discs. I got grinding discs on the floor. Oh, my God. Could this day get any worse? I just want to buy him a Bart, please. That's it. And then we can start working on the Bart in the next episode. But I'm just, my goodness, this whole thing. Okay, where's my grinder? There it is. Okay, here we go. Pick this up. Drop you off and take you off. And you on and then you can go on. Okay, let's just see here. I want you. So what if I take it off and then like fix it? All right, that's good. I just need to see where it all connects. I don't I don't remember. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. All right, let's lower this down a bit so I can see inside the door, and then we'll see if we can't get that rocker off without completely obliterating this dude's car. All right, let's see here. 
Why can I not? Oh my god. There we go. Okay, so what's holding the rocker on? It's got to be something. Okay, I'm not seeing anything holding it on there. Is it this maybe? I doubt it's that one. Let's bring it. Wait a minute. Did I see it right? Oh, this this right here. There it is. Okay, perfect. You come with me. Can I grind you now? Is this something I can do off the car? Because my goodness, I was going to lose my crap. All right, here we go. We're going to take. Thought I just threw that through the wall. Okay, here we go. Take this. Off you go. Take you off. You off. You on. Like the money. And then can we do it now? Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, there's some on the end there. I got to get that too. Perfect. Now, what do we got? Where's the rest of this rust? There it is. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's fixed. On you go. All right, where's my welder? Because this is a lot of work for a little bit of freaking rust. I need a welding stick. Here we go. We're running low on these. We got to get more of these. I wish you could just place an order, you know, <laughs> once a week, show up with this many. All right, here we go. All right, drop that. Put this on like this. Hmm. I definitely de weld it up front here. There we go. And then. I think that's everything for the welding that needs to be done. All right. So I don't see any more rust. Nobody, I don't see any more rust on the inside of doors, the bottom of doors. That's where you really got to look. If, you, if you're struggling to find it, look on the bottom of doors. Okay. So we can, we can piece this all back together eventually, but for now, oh my God, would you just, oh my God. Okay. Let's bring it. My welder's underneath there. I better, I might want to get that out first. Okay, you go over here. Now, down you go. So we can push you forward an inch so that door will close. There we go. Nope, didn't want to open all the doors. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Now, before I lose my mind, we need a paint color, which is 60BE13. 60BE13. Let's see, color. 60BE13. E, oops, B E 13. Enter. There we go. Buy that. Got it. We can do one can at a time here. Because we don't want to cause ourselves any problems here. Okay, here we go. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Just painting over whatever is here. Okay. It wasn't the inside of this door, it was the inside of this door, right? There we are. No, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Okay, fix that little spot. Mm. Oh, here's this little corner right there. There we go. That's good. I think that should, oh, this, okay, this, this sign is definitely causing a problem. All right, here we go. Now, the beauty of painting, too, is then you can see the rust again if there's any rust to be seen. Now, if I did this correctly, it should say there's missing parts. Ugh. Did that get it? Oh, I think that got it. Okay, there we go. I think, let's see here. If I go to this and I go to job info, I don't see, can you, okay. Okay, so... Let's piece it back together and see if that works. I'm pretty sure it'll just say, oh, what the heck are you? Where's my grinder thing? There we go. How did you show up here? Get out of here.
Does does that help? Let's piece it back together and see if that's what's causing the problem here. Because oh, I can see I can see rust over there. I saw it. I just saw it. It's right on that door frame there. See, you got to check everywhere, and you can miss stuff very easily. Okay, let's see. I think that fixed it because I just saw a bunch of rust disappear from over here as well. Uh, paint? Where are you? Paint, 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 paint. There we are. Now, if you really want to do easy rust repair, just replace the part. Honestly, that is the easiest way to do it. Is that a tiny bit of rust right there that I see? Or is that just a glitch in the... Right there? I think it might just be a glitch. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, there we are. All right. Um. Oh, wait a minute. No, I think, is that rust or is that just the dots coming through? That was rust. There we go. Got it. Oh, I see rust back there now. Christ, there's just rust everywhere. That's all I can see is rust. Let me in here. Oh, I feel like I should pull the headliner. I really do, because it's going to be this whole thing. It's probably rust under the headliner, maybe. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's get in here. Paint you. You're fine. Oh, there's still rust there, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to pull the headliner just to, just to look. God damn it. Screwdriver. Ugh. Out you go. Oh, headliner came off. Nice. Just to take a peek, peek around here. I don't see any more rust there. But I feel like we didn't open the trunk, and that might be part of the problem. Oh, no. Just go up, please. What, what, are, what are you doing? Why, why are you doing this right now? Like, we just... Where did it go? There... Okay. All right, screwdriver. There. And there. Okay. This is all right. We never did check inside the trunk. There's the rust. There's always something hiding around the lips of something. There. I think that just solved that rust back there. Let's grab this crouch a little bit in there all right let's reassemble and see where's my wrench where we are at here because it's just <laughs> this is becoming a thing all right tighten no 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 where's the bolt <sighs> I'm going to break your doors. What's going to happen? There. Tighten. Got it. All right. Let's put this car back together because currently all the doors are open and it looks terrible. Now, ugh. got that one closed. This one will not close without being shoved this way. That one can be closed. This can go back on. Where's my screwdriver? There it is. We're on tightening mode already. Let's put it on. Get this, pull this up, put this on. Where's my wrench? Grab the wrench. And tighten, tighten. Tighten, tighten. Okay, let's go see if we completed this job. Not done yet. God friggin' darn it all. <sighs> Where's this rust I can't see? Because I'm just wasting, at this point, I'm just wasting resources trying to find things that are impossible to find. 
So there's a little rust right there. But I can't find any more of the rust elsewhere. Where's my grinding disc? There it is. You can see it in that one little corner in here. Right in there. What did I what did I get when I did that? All right, no problem. We got this. Okay. Oh yeah, now you're gonna auto save. <laughs> okay, there we go. Me and auto saves have a sordid history. What about now? No, I've missed something. Where did I miss the rust? Or is it a paint problem? Is it under this here? Maybe no. Under this rocker, maybe. I would think it was that front cowl panel because it was so beat up. Let's take a boo. Let's take a boo. I want, I want to say it's this panel, but I have no absolute proof that that's true. Unless it's behind the, the lights, maybe. I could replace that panel relatively quickly because I'm not seeing anything else at the moment. Maybe the bumper needs to go on before I can complete the job. Because normally let's say you're, you're missing parts or you don't have a screw or something, so... Maybe that's what I've, I've done. Can we just check this now? Job info. Oh, God, it was the bumper. Son of a... Okay, you know what? You know what? Okay. We're going to the junkyard. Um, Hang on a sec. Let's see. We're going to go to the junkyard. Excellent. It's going to do that weird loading thing and freak me out. Excellent. Okay. Oh, more loading. Uh, okay. I see a hood for a car. There's not much of that car left to save, and there's nothing good here. So let's try... Wait a minute. How much is this car worth? Mm. You know what, actually? I'm going to buy this. Trust me on this. And I'm going to head home. Right, and then where is it? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Back to the junkyard. I got I got to ship it home. That's what it was. All right, here we go. Ship this home. And uh, tow to garage, 100 bucks. What's it? Okay, let's go back to the garage. Take tax to garage. All right, just want to try something real quick here. People keep telling me I should do it more. Oh, please tell me it didn't bounce off my Lotta. All right, so this is a hunk of garbage. Now, uh, hunks of garbage are fine. What can I sell it for currently? 2000 bucks. So basically, I can make my money back just as I bought it. But, now, normally in a real world, I would take a car like this, just part it out. But... Uh, wait a minute. It's got a really good blue seat in the back. Well, okay, we're taking that. It's got one good blue front seat and one good blue rear seat. This is ours now. Suck it. Give me this. I want this. Why can't I have this? Give me this. Open this up. I want this right now. Why, why, why are you denying me my, my rightful thing? Okay, here we go. Okay, just got to see in here right here. There we go. Yes, look at this nice blue leather seat. And then the passenger seat is in great shape. And we need this for our car. Now, this is going to actually make it worth less, but we can swap them out. Okay. 
it's okay. Yeah, take this in. Now what's it worth? Same amount. Okay, excellent. So we don't have to worry about putting those back in. But what we can do is give it a wash. Any second now. There we go. And this will actually increase its value, strangely. Maybe remove some of the rust. To get the value up, we can make a few hundred bucks and be on our way. I like how it's a little bit of every lot of color. You know, it's just like... There we go. Okay, let's get up here. There's no windows to wash. For some reason, the game allows you to like totally rip off cust well, not customers, I guess. Because somebody's going to want this piece of crap for a parts car or something. So you make it just look a little bit better. All right. Does that look good? I don't think it looks terrible. Now what's its value worth? Twenty six thirteen. We made a buck. All right, so let's de-rust some of this, or rust de-rust what we can, and maybe throw a spray bomb on it. Maybe put some bondo on some of the panels. All right, here we go. This is de-rusting, I guess. Perfect. Perfect. So much rust. There we go. Fix up that panel. We just got to repaint it to make it look kind of decent. That, fix that up. All right, there we go. Get rid of this rust. Is it worth any more now? Yeah, it's already worth three grand. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> okay. I love it when stuff I love it when stuff just doesn't quite make sense. Um Jeez, this is going really excellent actually. Okay, here we go. For some reason it won't let me Oh, wait a minute. I just got some of it. It won't let me actually work on the top of this. Is it because it's so dented? Is that is that what it is? What's it worth now? Three thousand bucks. Is it, we just cleared four hundred bucks on this and did very little. Like, very little. Three hundred bucks. You know, I should run some bondo on this. See if we can get it a little bit better. All right, let's see. Just just a wee bit better. Any spots that want some Bondo, guy? We got a little Bondo in here for you if you want a guy. Yeah, we're going to Bondo the crap out of this. Here we go. Oh, we're out of Bondo, but that's a little better. What color is this? AA8FA8. AA8FA8. AA8. F A eight. Oh, it's a pink. Bam. So we have a couple panels here that aren't the right color. So let's paint them the right color. <laughs> For twenty bucks is not a bad deal. All right, get this all painted up here. This here, we scratch this off our list of things that could be wrong with this car. Look, buddy, it's all the same color. What do you want from it? It's original. Okay, let's uh, paint this fender up. There we go. Perfect. There we are. Mm. This uh, C pillar. There we go. Yeah, let's open this up. We don't want any green on the inside. Oh, yeah, here we go. This whole panel's the wrong color. 
Perfect. Okay, what's it worth now? $3,100. Okay, excellent. So that's a nice way to make a few bucks here and there. Buy old cars, fix them up, sell them off. Hmm. $3,200. let us sell it. Bam. Okay, we're at $3,700 now. I want to go... There's a fence here now. Why is there a fence? Who put this fence here? This is my property. And I'm stuck on it. Stop it, fence. Jeez. Okay. Now I want to go here and see what... This is taking too long. This episode is taking way too long. And I'm sorry. This is how these episodes go for me. I start getting distracted. This is not where I want to be. I want to be over here. To see if anything kind of good pops up. Oh, this is going to be a super, super long episode. I can feel Now that I figured out that I can do that for a few bucks. All right. Show me your goods. Oh, something's spawning in. There's nothing in here. Oh, there they go. Okay. What are you worth? You're out of my price range. I need a loan. You're out of my price range. You're definitely out of my price range. 13 grand. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? This is expensive. Oh, stuck on the fence. Well, this is great, man. They, they, according to the recent patch, he's uh, fleshed out the world. It's going to be about thirty times bigger with like, um, what do you call it? towns and stuff? According to the patch notes, so like Viking, you're doing a you're doing a killer job, bud. Like an absolute bang up freaking job. Uh like it's it's great. I mean, I'm gonna sleep till the next day. Like seriously, you uh you are doing just a heck of a job. Now let's let's go zip down to the to the junkyard again. See if there's anything new here now that we slept a little bit. Oh, it's snowing. Nice. Slabels ring, are you listening? In the lane, someone's bitching. Mm. Beautiful sign, we're gonna buy you tonight. Take you home, you're worth nothing at all. You're only fifteen hundred dollars, baby. We can fix all your parts right now. You look trashy. Oh my god, that's awesome. We're gonna take you home and tow it to the garage. And now we're gonna go home to the garage. See what's up. <gasps> it's a marriage. What? Do 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 do. Uh, ba -dee 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 -dee. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna zip through this here. Wash, rinse, repeat. It was only fifteen hundred bucks, so worst case, uh, and like all Unity games, I'm getting a memory leak of some sort and starting to slow down the game. Here we go. Let's uh let's wash this pip. We'll do this one more time and then we'll stop. But like I want to get a Bart. Oh, I like how bright everything is. Okay, here we go. The, I think the roof is probably need to be replaced. I'm not sure enough Bondo can fix that. There we go. There we go. Okay, this is get looking better. I didn't even clean the last car great. I just cleaned it a little bit, and it... Like, there's still dirt on it. You can see it when I was, like, doing the body work. Mm. Let's try to wash this roof off here. Yeah, it does not want to clean. Okay. So we paid fifteen hundred for it. What's it worth now? Fifteen hundred. Excellent. Let's get some rust off of this baby. Because uh, that's what the definite problems are. Definitely the rust. <laughs> this is. It's a hundred percent just the rust that's causing these problems on this car. Because again, we're not looking to make a thousand bucks. We're looking to make like you know a few hundred bucks by just a little top and tail on this baby. Probably shouldn't hold down the button when I'm moving. Just for future reference there, scapegoat. Yeah, there we go. It's got no springs in it, so it looks like a real low rider at the moment. There we go. That panel's fixed. Yeah, it just doesn't let you work on totally damaged panels like that, eh? No, that's fine. Take this off. And that off. Oh, it's got it's got broken tail lights and everything. Ooh, we should take these uh 
plates for my car. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whatever fixes you up, bud. There we go. That door's fixed now. All in all, it's in pretty good shape, I gotta say. This door's so mangled, it doesn't matter. That door's so mangled. Oh, we can probably do the this rocker panel, though. At least part of it. Excellent. So what's the word now? Whoa, whoa, auto save. Ooh, what's happening? Long driving it. Mm. 2200 bucks. I've already made 700 bucks on this. What's the color? E7DBEB? Is that what that is? E7DBEB? Screw it. I don't got to paint it. Sell it. Boom, 4300 bucks. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is this is a this is going to be a fun way to make some cash, some cash. Just for fun. I know this is an hour and some minutes long now, but let's head back to the junkyard. All right, let's get unstuck there. Okay, here we go. Load me in, baby. Okay. What's this coupe worth? Eighteen hundred bucks. Do we want to? Do we want to just? It's not really all that rusty. I think it's more body damage. I would say. But you know what's right next door here? A coupe roof. So let's uh, let's buy this. Because again, we can at least sell it for for the money. I'm gonna buy that for 104 bucks, and then I'm going to try to kind of piece that together. Now you used to be able if you picked up a piece, and then you can pick it up and then take it home with you. But maybe you can't do that now. All right, just do this. <laughs> See if this works. All right. Uh, tow to garage. Okay. Well, we're not going to be doing that anytime soon, but we can de-rust and wash this and make two or three hundred bucks off of it. All right. Where, where are you going, bud? Don't do that. There you go. You don't even have wheels. You're garbage. You're just trash, but that's fine. Well, you have some wheels. You just don't have all your wheels. All right, here we go. And this way, watch the door, please. Thank you. Okay. Let's uh, de-rust what we can. There's not a lot of rust on this car, actually, surprisingly. I think that's rust there. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's just hiding in the dirt because of the color of the car. Hang on a sec. Oh, yeah, it's just hiding. That's all it was. It's just a very dirty black car. I thought it was kind of like a brownie gray. Well, I was mistaken. Oh, yeah, this car's in great shape. Bed frame. Dirt everywhere. Like, it's not, it's not even clear. Who, like, who, who? This must have been sitting here a while, man. Nothing like washing over freshly uh, uh, ground metal. Won't rust it at all if I just leave it and never dry it off. <laughs> All right, so I always tell people oxygen is one of the most deadly chemicals on the planet. It can destroy iron. Yeah, we just happen to use it to breathe. Okay, here we go. And this can be cleaned. Oh, no, oh, no. There we go. This can be cleaned. That can be cleaned. Yeah, there we are. Take some of this rust off. Is there any in the inside of this door? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Inside the door jams of my life. See, I'm not even worried about doing this great. I'm just trying to get some of the rust off. With a good wash. Someone may find a decent panel on this thing at some point. Or maybe this one's too far gone. I'm, I'm kind of in testing phases of how much you can actually get away with not having to do on this. Like this, 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 this patch of rust. Like if this was the car I was working on, I probably wouldn't even de-rust it. I would just, just sell it off. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is going so well. There, okay, excellent. What are we worth now? We pay what, 15, 18 for it? Sell it, boom, done. Okay, we got $5,000 now. Now, if we go to the junkyard, is it empty? Because we've bought all the cars in it. Does it just stay empty then till the next time you load the game? Or does it take a few in-game days? Now, here's a really good, okay, we got to figure out how to get parts back is what we got to do. Because we have, we had a, we have this. I thought you could like, I thought you could bring them back with you. I thought there was something that said you could like. I guess not, but at least we have this here. We paid a hundred bucks for that, so that's not the worst. But yeah, there's no more cars here. We've kind of used all the cars up, and now there's no cars. So yeah, anything on the bus? Nope, that's fine. Should restore a bus. That could be fun. Right, so I'm going to leave this episode here. This is a very profitable episode. Uh, if you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe. I'm glad we got those blue seats. we got to install those in the next episode as well. Uh, if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber, because I'm not much of one. Thank you so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat! I'm really close to my microphone. ASMR style. Out.